Hello, welcome back to a new video. So today I'm gonna to be decorating the kitchen and dining room for Christmas, finally. I haven't decorated yet. It's like, I'm running out of time. <laughs> We've been catching up on everything else, but Christmas decorating was not like, as far as the living room and dining room goes, was not on the top priority list the past couple days. I did the kids' rooms, we did the, you know, the living room with the tree and stuff, but Everything else has just been kind of put on the back burner, trying to get Christmas gifts, doing all of our running around. We went to a Bucks game yesterday, had so much fun. Oh my gosh, so much fun. I'm going to include some pictures. I think I already did in my last video, but I'm going to go ahead and include some more because we were so happy. Um, but anyway, so we did that, and then today we're going to be taking Christmas pictures in pajamas. So like two or three weeks ago, I bought the kids matching Christmas pajamas for like their Christmas Eve box. But I actually took family photos for like the fall, like two weeks ago, and I don't love how they turned out on the Christmas card. I feel like they don't look Christmassy at all. And this is like, I, I love having Christmas pictures or like Christmas cards. Like that's, that's the one thing that I do every single year. So every year I can look back and see, you know, like our year as a family for Christmas. And that's like the, <laughs> the one thing I do every year on time. These are, these are so soft though. I'm excited. This is the first Christmas Christmas pajamas I've ever had as an adult. I'm so excited I can't talk. All right, so first off, I am going to get a little cleaning done. I just wanted to show you a couple overviews of how the dining room and kitchen was looking. It was definitely messy, but that's okay. It only took me a couple minutes to clean it up. Um, thankfully, since our house is small, cleanups are pretty quick around here. I mean, I can clean my whole house in just a couple hours. So cleaning the dining room and the kitchen only took me like maybe 30 minutes. So I'm going to knock that out really quick. Actually, it took a little longer than that because I mopped and all that. But I will be sharing that as a cleaning video over on my cleaning channel. If you did not know, I do have a cleaning channel. It's called Cleaning with Carrie. Make sure you're subscribed over there. Even if you don't like cleaning content, having a second channel is always a great backup just in case for whatever reason, if anything ever happened to my main channel, I have a way of contacting you guys over there. So that is one of the one of the reasons I actually started that channel. But also for all of you who just strictly love cleaning motivation, I think you guys will love that channel. So like I said earlier, I will have all of this footage in a cleaning video coming out really soon. So make sure you're following that cleaning channel, Cleaning with Carrie. I appreciate it so much. I'll have it linked down below. But once I finish up with just, um, you know, tidying up the house, getting it clean before I start decorating is always essential. I have found that if I try to jump into decorating when my house is a mess, I just cannot get it right. Nothing looks good. I'm just stressed. <laughs> so definitely recommend doing a quick cleanup before you get started with any type of decorating. Even if it is just a little rearranging, it makes a huge difference having a clean space to start with. All right, so I'm going to start off in the dining room. I'm going to take these red bows that I got from Dollar Tree. These are so cute for $1.25. You can't beat them. So I'm actually going to attach these to the back of the chairs. Now, since the little twisty tie that came on the bow was not quite big enough, I ended up having to use fishing line around the chair to attach the bow to. And then when I attached them, they were kind of drooping. So I was like, you know what? Let's just use hot glue and hot glue them to the chair and that actually worked out great. And towards the end of the video, you'll notice that I did take the bows off, but it was just to show you a different style um, as far as decorating. So I did like two styles in one. Um, but as soon as I popped the bows off, the little hot glue just pops right off and did no damage to the chair or anything like that. So it all worked out. I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over 
So next I'm gonna take these Christmas bags and turn them into Christmas photos. This is a really, really affordable way to decorate your house for Christmas. If you're on a tight budget and you don't have a lot of money to go out and spend on little knickknacks and decor, just simply take some old gift bags. I know you have them, we all do. We all hold on to those gift bags that we love. And all you're gonna do is cut out the area of the gift bag that you wanna put in your frame and put it in your frame and voila, you have some really cute Christmas photos for the wall on an extreme budget. The Christmas lights fill the city. There are people everywhere. The snow is falling white and pretty. As I stroll on my way to you, how will you feel about packing up today? Leave this old behind. Go get some now, if you can't find any gift bags that you like, you can also just take some really pretty Christmas paper and just cut it out and use it as a mat for around your photos. It just kind of gives a little Christmas vibe while not being like overly done. I really love this wrapping paper that I recently got from Walmart. It came as a three pack. It had a green set. It also had little Christmas trees and then plaid as well. And I actually used I originally cut out the Christmas trees, but I ended up using the plaid in the end um, as a mat for around my photos, and it turned out so cute. And then while I was hanging up the photos, I realized that I really wanted something with a Christmas tree on it, so I decided to just paint one really quick. And while I painted one, so did my daughter, and then I just chose whichever one I liked best with the mixture of photos, and that's the one I hung on the wall. So yeah, we're just gonna paint together really quick, and they turned out so cute. All right, y'all, so here's option one. Absolutely love this one. Very colorful and festive and affordable. That was the most important. Using the bags as the pictures in the frames, I quickly painted these little trees and then just added some Christmas pictures that we just took in those frames and that just kind of made that little area look really pretty. And these are the same stems that I uh, use for the fall. And these work out perfect as winter too because they're kind of like a red berry color. So very, very pretty. And then I just paired it with a deer I borrowed off of the coffee table and some candlesticks here. So kept it very simple and pretty. Really like it a lot. Um, of course, on the back of the chairs, we have the little bows here. These are all from Dollar Tree. And I use fishing line, um, which I do gotta cut off some of the extra string here. Don't, don't look too close. Um, and then I hot glued the edges down so that way they stayed open and they've held up really nice. So love those. And then here in the vase, I just took out that burgundy um, like floral arrangement I had and just added a mixture of different greenery and some berries together to create a little arrangement. And I think it looks so pretty. Y'all have to let me know what you think of option one. So now we're gonna go ahead and move into option two. I'm gonna be hanging a mirror right here with a wreath on it. This one's gonna be a lot more like elegant, not as colorful. Let me know which you would choose, option one or option two. But I am gonna use this mirror. 
Are you serious, Juan? Now, what are you doing? That is, you're crazy. You just want all of the attention. Oh, so special. Oh, so pretty. What you been doing today? Where's mommy gone? Always missed her mom. I had to go to a chiropractic appointment, which was excellent, by the way. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get the mirror on the wall. So don't worry, I am gonna definitely use these pictures around the house. So if I put the mirror here, I'll most likely use some of these pictures like down the hallway or right here in the living room or heck, even put some like right here. Um, I'll find a spot. I am obsessed with this little snowman. He's so cute. And I really like the, like, the vintage looking Santa. I think he's really cute too. All right, so I was determined to use a mirror in this dining room at some point. I've tried a couple different times, but it just never really looked right. And originally, when I purchased this particular mirror, I planned on using it right here in the dining room. But I originally hung it up, and I felt like it looked more like a dresser, not so much like a dining room buffet style but maybe it was just because I didn't have it styled right or maybe it was just the bad timing of the year I don't know <laughs> but I'm gonna try again so first I hung the mirror and then I took this wreath and I was gonna hang this wreath on the mirror but unfortunately the wreath I have is just a hair too big and right now I'm trying not to spend any extra money for Christmas decor we've already bought all of our Christmas we're just kind of you know we've already spent enough at this point I'm just using what I have on hand and yeah, the wreath ended up being too big, so I just took it down and tried something else. Okay, last option, <laughs> and then I'm done, and I gotta clean up. All right, so this was the last resort with using the mirror. I just took some of this garland that I got from Lowe's. This is actually real garland. Um, you can buy it in the Christmas tree tent area. It's $24, and I think it's like a 25-foot garland. It's really long. I used, um, I wouldn't say most of it. I used like half of it on our mantle. I used some of it on our back patio table, and now I'm using some of it here on the little buffet cabinet. Now, I, I actually love the way this started to look with the greenery and the mirror, I feel like it kind of, it's just definitely my style right now. I'm really into this dark moody vibe and I feel like it, I feel like it looks Christmassy but still has that dark moody style that I've been really into right now. So of course when it comes to decorating, I try things a couple different ways and then if I don't like it, I just keep moving it until I have that moment of like, okay, this, this will work. So I started off with a lot on the cabinet and then I was like, okay, it's too cluttered. Let's rearrange a little bit. I tried moving things around. Eventually I ended up settling on having a deer, the Christmas tree, and then two candlesticks on the other side. And it was just enough. It wasn't overly done. And heck, I do feel like I could even remove all of it and just have the greenery, the lamp, and the mirror. And it would look pretty just as is if you're into a really like minimalist style. Um, and I actually am really into a minimalist decor style. I feel like it, it keeps my mind clear. I don't feel like I, I have a messy, cluttered home. I feel like I can breathe in here. So at the end of the day, just whatever works for you. You know what I mean? I, I know we all go through seasons of life where I've had moments where my whole house has been decorated every square inch. Every wall had something on it. Um, and then I've had moments where I haven't had nothing on the walls. And I enjoyed that you know, for the time being. So don't worry about trends. Don't worry about what everybody else is doing. Remember to always decorate your home the way that you want to and the way that it makes you feel good. And I wanted to share something with you that I actually struggled with when I first started my channel. So when I first started my channel, I we lived in a single wide mobile home. We were really broke. We didn't have a whole lot of extra money. So I always decorated using like yard sale items, hand-me-downs, things I found on the side of the road, or things I made out of like really cheap items. And I... Eventually, as time went on and I started to earn money and I started to have a little extra fun to start buying home decor, I got so caught up, you guys, in just following what was trendy. 
it was farmhouse and then it was like the really rustic farmhouse then it was organic mo or i'm sorry it was uh, modern farmhouse and then it was organic modern and then eventually I just finally was like you know what I'm so tired of trying to keep up with what the trends are telling me and how to decorate my house and sometimes it can be so discouraging when you get on like YouTube or Pinterest and you see like interior designers and they're like don't do this do this instead and it's like well what's wrong with the first thing and there's nothing wrong with that it's just trends and that's people's job to tell you what they feel like looks good but don't forget to ask yourself what you feel like looks good you know and i i do have a mixture of styles in my home i i feel like i have a variety <laughs> of decor and styles all mixed in in one and i love that and i like that my home is unique i like that you don't see my exact house the way it's decorated in every other home and I love that. It makes my space feel unique and ours. And I am just so grateful every single day to be able to share these videos with you guys and inspire you to do the same with your house. Just use what you got. Do the best you can. And I'm sure it's going to turn out absolutely beautiful. But here's how the dining room turned out for now. I'm actually going to leave it like this. I love this style. It's very crisp, clean, not as colorful. And I ended up using the family photos on the wall. And then I also used some of them in the kitchen. So I kind of help me spread out the decor that I had. So the next day I ended up decorating the kitchen. I actually ran out of time on the first day. Um, we had a Christmas concert to go to and y'all the kids did so good. I was so proud of them. So my daughter of course she wanted to be right up there and wanted to do it but my son was like a little nervous and I was like you don't have to do it. So we were actually sitting in the um, like the audience and he f was like you know what I kind of want to go so I hurried up and I ran him to his class and last minute he got up on stage and did his little performance and I was just so proud they did amazing um, and it was so much fun to see I feel like this this time as a parent is just like I don't know I like obviously the baby stage was fun the toddler stage was fun but this stage right now this is the best. Just getting to see your kids like turn into their own little person and develop their personalities and they're just fun. It's just, this is so much fun. All right, so here's the stuff that I have to decorate the kitchen for this year. It's not a whole lot, but it's just enough to kind of bring a little bit of color into the kitchen and just make it look a little more festive. So first off, I have this advent calendar. I got this from Hobby Lobby. The kids have been loving it. However, the little drawers are so tiny, so if you are going to buy one, keep, keep that in mind. Like, look how, like, what can you put in there? So what I've been doing is just putting little notes, like, as a little scavenger hunt, and they've been enjoying that. So, got that. It does light up. I don't know where the button is from where I'm, see? It does light up. I haven't pulled the little tab out yet. You got to have batteries for that, <laughs> but it is cute. Um, and then I have two pictures here, the Santa um, that I just shared over on my Instagram page. This is a gift bag. I just went to Dollar General, looked for like, kind of like vintage looking gift bags. And I found this little Santa. I thought he was so cute. So, <clears throat> so I cut him out, put him in a large matted frame. And then I quickly painted this picture uh, with my daughter. So just added this to a frame as well. I have this little cake stand I just got. This was $15 from Dollar General Market, but it's like the perfect size. I love like how it's not too tall. It's like just the perfect color too. Definitely love that, so I grabbed it. I got a little spoon spatula holder for whenever we're cooking. This was $3. This is the little Christmas tree that I got from Dollar Tree this year. I thought this was so cute, so I'm gonna be using this in the kitchen somewhere. This came from a baby shower we just went to. Um, it's just like hot cocoa and marshmallows, but I think it looks so cute, like just kind of sitting out. And the kids have been stealing marshmallows from it, so they love that. <laughs> and then I got some little red berries here to add to some greenery that I already have. Pine cones, a new little uh, green house. I thought this was so cute. This was three or five bucks. Five bucks from Dollar General. I already ripped off the tag. Um, you could also shove lights in here, those little ones, if you wanted to. I don't have any, so I'm just going to leave it as is, but I thought that was adorable. Then I got another Christmas tree here. This one was $2 for this little velvet green Christmas tree. It's kind of hard to see the color, but it's like a dark velvet. 
And then last thing I got was this white Christmas tree. This was $8 from the same store, Dollar General Market. If you don't have a market near you, like the Dollar General Market, check out just the regular Dollar General. They have really great home decor. So yeah, um, that's what I'm gonna use to decorate, so let's get it styled. One thing I did wanna point out is that this plant is doing so well right here in the kitchen window. And this is the first plant that I've had thriving like this, so I'm gonna leave it. And as you can see, I just stuck like some random berries up in here. <laughs> I don't know what to do with it. It's not very Christmassy, but I don't care. I don't want to move it because I know it'll die the moment I try to like change things up. So she's staying and I actually really love like the pop of greenery in here. And y'all, I want to do the backsplash so bad, but I also have another plan for the kitchen. <laughs> y'all, I'm always trying to do something, but that's like a whole, that's a whole video in itself to try to explain what I want to do in here. But I think it's time I think it's time for a really good change, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with this little corner over here. I think I'm gonna use this little tray and then some of the Christmas trees in this little house and kind of set up a little display over here. Okay, so I kind of like that. I think that looks cute. Um, I have a picture frame holder that I might use back here. I really like the way this looks. Kind of just like brightens up that corner with the frame being back there. And typically I would have like my cutting boards over here, but I've noticed that we are more likely to grab our cutting boards from here. So I think this is where I'm gonna put those instead. So let me see if I can find them. All right, so last thing I wanted to do was add this very large vase and this greenery to the kitchen island. So I've actually had this vase and this greenery that I got from Amazon in my bedroom, but I wanted a large vase on the kitchen island that we could still like kind of work around, that the vase was tall enough and the plants weren't all in the way. And I don't know what it is. I just love a large behind vase on the kitchen island. It looks so pretty. So then I just, um, using the original greenery, I just took some berries and kind of twisted them around the stems of the greenery just to kind of bring a little bit more of a Christmas vibe. And you know what's so cute is my daughter came in. She's like, wait a second. Why does that look like real berries? <laughs> 
And I think it's because it's like on an actual like greenery plant that looks so realistic. By the way, this is my favorite greenery that I've ever purchased from Amazon. It looks legit. It looks like I went outside and cut a tree down. I, I, I love it so much. I'll link this stuff below, or this stuff. I'll link these stems below for you because they are perfect and you're definitely going to want them this spring and summer. Um, and heck, I'm using them right now. So I feel like it's definitely something you can use all year round. Alrighty, so the house is done for now. I really love how it turned out. It's very simple and clean. It still looks like regular decor, but with like a little sprinkle of Christmas. Like for instance, right here, instead of doing like a ton of Christmas greenery, I just kept the original greenery and just kind of twisted on some berries just to make it look a little bit more Christmassy. <laughs> um, I think it looks pretty. And then over here, I did the Santa picture, little advent calendar, and the tree. Um, cutting board, Christmas tree, the little wooden angel that I got from Walmart, and a candle. Um, I added berries to my original plant once again. And then over here in the corner, I just used that tray, the few Christmas trees, and the little house that I got recently. And then my Christmas tree painting back there. And then right there on the stove, just the little spoon holder that's shaped like a Christmas tree. Of course, we got our like Christmas cards up here. And yeah, that is the kitchen. I think it looks so nice. All right, y'all, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you for hanging out with me today while I decorated the dining room and the kitchen. Um, stay tuned for my next video in just a couple days, and don't forget to head over to my cleaning channel, Cleaning with Carrie, to check out the cleaning motivation um, that's over there. I appreciate you so, so, so much. I hope you guys know that. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you in just a couple days with a new video. Bye, y'all.